Good morning, lovely Lego addict. As you know, I have been planning on doing a medieval quarter for a while. This is a nice angle of the city, actually, just thinking about that. And I have started planning it. So I have started putting some base plates down in order to measure out the space to see what I can do. I definitely want to make it modular because it's quite high up. Um, and if I'm going to do what I think I want to do, it's going to be very heavy. So I definitely want to make these, sorry, not modular, mills. So I definitely want to make sure that they're really sturdy and I can definitely easily like take them off and move them when I want to update them or work on them because it's not a good angle to work on anything. So this is, is what I have so far. It goes slightly over the edge here, but that allows me to put another 16 by 32 next to it. So this space is 16, which is awesome. So I think this probably will fit two of those. I think that's kind of the, the length I'm going for. I will fill up this bit. I think I will need eight uh, 16 by 16 ones or whatever. And then I will have a millsified medieval <laughs> village. I'm really excited. I think I'm doing the mountain on this side. So I think that definitely will need a 48 by 48, but we'll have to have a little look. All right, I think this is the size that I'm going to use. So it is pretty big. It does overhang a little bit, as you can see, both there and on the side. But I don't think it matters because once I've millsified it, there will be enough support. Let's get this millsified and then we can start planning. Alrighty, I've made some progress. So these are the mills plates so far. Obviously, as you can see, the middle ones haven't been made mills yet. Um, I think this is just like a really small temporary version of this because mills is like a fantastic way to also customize the landscape like i could have like a river carved through this landscape if i use smaller plates obviously i put some rocks down as well just to kind of indicate to me where i roughly want a hill to be just trying to work all this modular mills river thing out and it's difficult quite the challenge i've been working on this on and off today and actually it's finally looking okay i'm actually really quite happy with it so here's my little river. So it starts off with the waterfall. The waterfall is only a placeholder. Like it's the only thing that looks like a waterfall that I have at the moment. So that will just be staying there for a moment. But I think I hope to replace that eventually. But yeah, so here is my little river. I wanted to have it change color. So it has some visual interest as well. Um, in the end, this sort of changeover looks quite sudden, more sudden than I like. But by the time I realized it was a bit too late, it's a shame because actually those two, those tiles there are a different colour so I thought that it would be slightly smoother but it's still pretty sudden just because of the colour underneath. Um, the rest of the river is going to be this colour probably but still I think it looks pretty cool and I'm quite happy with the changeover. This is only like a placeholder for the mountain so I have a rough idea where that's going to go. It's my first real try at landscaping within a mills plate but I think it looks all right. Pretty happy actually. All right so as you can see there has been a lot of updates to the medieval like landscape i'm really really happy with it i think you can see the texture of the water better now i've put it in daylight um this is still bare because i want to put a little fish tile there um everything else is kind of like the baseline i know it still looks square in some places totally appreciate that however some of it is because i'm going to be adding lots of leaves lots of foliage and stuff around this eventually once i've decided where the road is going to go once i've decided where the bridge is going to go as you know the plan is to add to so the windmill on top so that's going to sit pretty high up and i also have the castle in the forest to build now today is kind of the time for me to start building the castle in the forest because i think i want to add that onto either this one or the middle base plate just to kind of give it a nice place i do think though that whatever I will end up doing with that um, I'm going to mock it a lot. The reason for that is the castle in the forest is essentially um, at an angle so I wouldn't be able to attach to a base plate the way it's been designed even though it's a really cool design it just doesn't work for my layout and also I think Lego buildings are always slightly bigger <laughs> than the space I've got so I don't think it's going to quite fit in the space I've got so what I'm probably going to end up doing is have it sort of half sit against the mountain so it kind of comes out of the mountain and in a way has been like forged out of the mountain in a way. I think that's gonna both save me space and also look really cool. So that's kind of the plan. Um, but this is all like a huge learning curve and a huge work in progress because I have not done this a lot and um, I'm definitely learning so much as I go, but it's actually such a fun project because it's so very different from my city work. I will start opening the castle in the forest box, which I've been really putting off because the shiny brickling sticker that seals it is like really hard to break. <laughs> Let's open this. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. 
after ordering it in July or June. I can't remember which one. It's it, and it's really hard to get out with on it. Bruh. There we go. Yes. 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 So excited. Oh my word, there's even like a posh shiny sticker on it that like seals it as well as like the normal ones. And look, we've got a little farmer who's really cool. We've got this one, which I guess looks a bit like a pirate and I know people have been complaining about it, but I really like the torso of him and you can definitely replace his face. Then we've got these two. Uh, they kind of remind me of like the lady from the blacksmith vibe. I like his torso a lot. Super, super cool. So there's lots of like hidden features by the looks of it. finally made it to the last bag, bag 12. Interestingly, I've decided to put all the accessories minifigure things in the final bag, which is an interesting decision. But oh my god, look at this guys. Really cool. I don't, I don't think it does it justice. I've always been really concerned about like the non-symmetrical way this is built. But like you can open like the sides and you can like look inside and play. I know it's bad lighting. I'll do a proper, maybe I'll do a review on this actually, but like, it's really, really cool. So this opens up but then this separately also opens up. So cool. So this on its own is such a cool design and I could definitely integrate this into the mountain side. And there is a lot of, whoops. And there's a lot of like amazing functionality here that I'm super, super, super excited about. So as you saw, I finished this absolute beauty last night. Such a fun, surprising and interesting build. Honestly, had a lot of fun with the techniques and everything used in this. I will be making a separate review that will be out probably next week. So that will be coming out soon. Loving this night. Um, haven't got like a cool night like this for a long time. So I hope you like my little medieval update. Let me know what I definitely need to add. If you have any tips, if there's anything that you want to let me know. Because I've built this on a Mills plate, I'm hoping that maybe at one point when like events are more on, it can be taken to like events for like displaying. That'd be pretty cool, but I don't know. It depends if I'm happy with it or not. So that's kind of like a thing that may be happening in the future. We're going medieval on the channel guys any tips are welcome um and tune in for the next update obviously this is going to be a huge work in progress so hopefully in the next stage we will be um mocking this castle into the hillside hopefully we're going to be able to add more rock face to the hill more detail create a path create some fields create a bridge so tune in for that don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see that and if you want to support the channel a little bit more don't forget to become a member that is absolutely super appreciated by me here are some of the amazing people currently supporting me and generally keeping the channel going hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and i will see you in the next one bye